going to the Beijing all-you-can-eat restaurant here in Edmonton. It's still Chinese but we love Chinese food and we're going for an all-you-can-eat restaurant once again. And don't forget we're still in Edmonton so not actually the Beijing regime. See you guys later! Everyone, so we're here at the Beijing. Oh, it's Beijing House, all you can eat. And beside it is actually another all you can eat restaurant, which is Japanese Sushi Toshi. But it's closed though. So it's still actually snowing here in Edmonton, which is so funny. So that's the Sushi Toshi. But we are going here today, guys, the Beijing House. It's not working. Going inside. Oh, that's good. It smells so yummy here. Table for two, please. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. My first plate, I actually got some mushrooms, noodles, rice, broccoli, and yeah. So we're here now at the Beijing house. So my first plate is right here, the glass of water and ice, but it's gonna be so cold. This restaurant is much smaller than the Yangming. Yangming has lots of options. This one, it's just like one column of food. Oh. <laughs> so oh in Yangming, we pay $19.99, and but here it's $21.95. Um, More expensive here, smaller restaurant with fewer, like really less options of food. So I actually got a spoon, but this one is a um, spoon for soup. I'm hungry, I didn't eat breakfast today. It's actually lunch already. So their noodles taste like um, the usual noodles that you can find in a Chinese food. And they have mushrooms. Lots of mushrooms. There's actually limited choices for the meat actually. More on veggies. Plus I don't see a chicken wings too. Like a deep fried chicken wings. I don't see it in here. I thought it's, there's a there's a calamares. When I checked it, the top, uh, the name of it, it says onion ring. <laughs> Back with my second plate. Second plate has noodles. There's beef, broccoli, dim sum, orange chicken, mushroom again, and they have the fried um, garlic fried. I'm thinking ribs. <laughs> mushroom again. So since I didn't eat breakfast, this is the downside of it. I already feel full. And now that's the second plate. You happy? It's so alright. Look at their ceiling, like the ambience of this restaurant, the physical appearance of this restaurant inside is totally great. Actually, this one is not bad, the beef and broccoli. And I'm back. This is my first plate of dessert, guys. I have carrots and a green jello. I'm gonna get ice cream later on. <laughs> it's lime, everyone, it's lime. Mm. So they have chocolate, they have vanilla, and they have the twist, like the mix of chocolate and vanilla. I finished my first bowl of ice cream, and the ice cream is really, really good for me. Just for my opinion, though. Here, the twist, which is the mix of chocolate and vanilla, is really, really good, guys. I really did love it. It's really good. But now I do feel cold because of the ice cream. And I still have to finish my second plate, guys. I still have to finish that. I feel full already. What, Paul? What can you say about it? About the ice cream? <coughs> yeah, you didn't like it? I don't like their chocolate. I don't know why. Uh, you should have gotten vanilla only, Papa. I can eat it if you want. They actually have this horoscope poster here on our table. Horoscopes for everyone. But I mean, the restaurant itself is beautiful. We love the architectural design that they put into this restaurant. It has like lots of seating here, seating and tables. The ambience of the restaurant and the environment of it, it's a bonus, but the food is just what we're looking for. I 
again guys the Beijing house guys we're done eating at the Beijing house here located in Northwest oh you can eat restaurant huh? and he will prefer to drive further just to get those food options that the young Ming has so yes yes that's true um, location wise service wise it's great oh, yeah. but the food it's below average. Of course, if you're going for a restaurant or a buffet, right? You're looking forward for the taste of the food. Their service is a bonus and the location is a bonus, but uh, you're looking forward for the taste of the food. Any 195? Will I go back there? No. Still a good um, restaurant to try. It's just few, like few minutes away from home. I mean, it's close to Cineplex. We're still kind of recommending it if you haven't tried it, just so you can get that, you know, experience. For me, no, I don't recommend it at all. Yes, my husband doesn't. I like their um, chocolate ice cream. Of course, I was expecting a little <laughs> bit more, but yeah, that's what we got. I only had two plates. And yeah, yeah, he didn't <laughs> even finish the second. He tried Beijing House. My husband is not recommending it, but I'm kind of okay with it. It's a good experience though that we're trying at different restaurants here in Edmonton. <laughs> I'd rather to drive in Yangming. I'm surprised there's no chicken wings. There's no like, yeah, basa, there no basa chicken filet. Wings. They don't have fried squid, you know what I mean? Like calamaries. Yeah. They don't have those. Uh, there's no dump dumplings too. Like they have in the wont wonton soup. Yeah, they really have like around maybe how many dishes. But yeah, less than 20. Well, yeah, that's what you're gonna get if you're gonna go here. But I mean, the service of this restaurant, totally great. Yeah, service is amazing. No comments about that. It's really, really great. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in our next tour. Bye. Ciao.